Hi there, this is Nitro Nick coming at you from PRI in Orlando, Florida. Now I'm here at the DEI booth with Ken Maynard. Now next to us here, we have the uh, Cryo2 cryogenic intake system. Uh, Ken, tell us a little bit about what we're looking at here. Okay, what we use is a characteristics of liquid CO2 to cool the air intake charge, and which gives a denser air charge to give you more horsepower. We all know those cool mornings, how much quicker the car feels. What we're doing is giving you that at the flick of a button. Um, we have the air intake bulbs inside of the air intake system that freeze up with the CO2 flowing through them, and then eventually it will exhaust out onto the intercooler. When you freeze up the intercooler like that, you definitely have uh, higher or better intercooler efficiency, which nets more horsepower. Uh, we also have the fuel chilling system that works like, uh, say, the cool can squared to the next level. You charge it with CO2, liquid CO2, which chills the fuel that much more than just icy water. Um, if you want me to demonstrate, I can Yeah, demonstrate. let's take a look and see how this works. Now, um, carbon dioxide is pretty cold in the liquid form, right? Yeah, uh, it's somewhere right around the negative 100 degrees exiting out of the line and out of the intercooler square. So that'll um, definitely cool off your air charge quite a bit. Quite a bit, quite a bit. All right, let's take a look at this. Okay, stand back. Yes, what you see is an open area, that's where the fuel would be flowing through past all the baffling, and then exiting out cold. Oh wow, look at this, see this whole ring here is all covered in frost, and that was instantaneous. Yes, and if you even notice there on the intercooler face itself, all iced up from the, from the liquid CO2 that's on there. You can even see on the air intakes how much they frosted over when the actual part that's getting charged is inside of them, and the outside of it even freezes up. Okay, now, so how do you feed this system? You use the bottle, how many pounds is that? The how many pounds is the average for the bottle that feeds this? Um, what we do, we just use a standard 10 pound nitrous bottle, and it's good for about three minutes of wide open, three to three and a half minutes of wide open flow. Uh, for your guy out playing on the street, that isn't a whole lot, but for your serious drag racer looking for that extra horsepower, it definitely is. Well, yeah, when you're using 10 seconds at a time, three minutes lasts quite a while, doesn't yep. it? Yep. All right, now, one other thing I wanted to ask about, now, where did you fill this up? Uh, the filling stations, really, there's a lot more than people would have ever imagined. Um, restaurant supply chains, what do we get in all of our drinks we get CO2? Soda. Yep. Every so every place that full of soda fountain would have it. A paintball. Paintball. Uh, filling stations. Medical supply. Medical supply. Welding uh, companies. And uh, so and CO2 isn't that expensive either. It's significantly cheaper than nitrous. Yeah. Uh, we all we all associate a dollar amount with filling a tank um, of nitrous. CO2. It's generally about half the price of nitrous oxide. Outstanding. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Ken. That was a great demo. Thank you. Hope to see these on the track soon. All right, this is Nitro Nick, and I'll see you guys later.